What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here, and so this is going to be another little fun thing that I do. Um, I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit here, sorry about that. It is going to be pretty much commander decks on a budget. Um, these aren't meant to be like, oh my gosh, I win every game I play, or I destroy commander league, or whatever thing you do for commander. So today we're going to do a little fun one, Golem. So we got Itch and our mix. So they're partners. Um, I'm going to say it at the beginning of this now, if there is any upgrades you would like to do to this deck, like I said, this is on a budget, this is meant to be cheap, quick, easy, and pretty much your running start. And then you can upgrade it as you go, just check out EDH Rec, type in the names, partner them up, and you can see what's going on. So, alright, so what the Splicer does, pretty much, is when he enters the battlefield, you get a 3-3 colorless golem artifact creature token uh whenever an artifact is put into a graveyard from the battlefield put a plus one plus one counter on him and a plus one plus one counter on the golem the reason why these two go so well together is also he's a golem um and whenever he attacks you may just cut a card when you do target creature defending player controls get some x minus x minus x till the end of the turn where x is the number of artifacts you control plus the number of artifacts cards in your graveyard so they kind of work hand in hand because you're running a lot of artifacts. A lot of golems are artifacts. So we'll just pop these two over here and we'll jump into your creature base of golems. So these are just little simple golems, nothing super strong. You're running lightning core excavator. You know, they're just doing things, you know. Ginger brute, reflective golem. Howling Golem, Iron Bully, Forgotten Sentinel, Junk Troller, Henge Walker, Ancestral Statue, Epithet Golem, Golem Artisian, Stone Golem, Paradic Wanderer, Brass Herald, Hex Plate Golem, and Meteor Golem and Maelstrom Colossus. So they all have their own little unique things that they do. You can pause the video, check them out. I'm not gonna go too much into the creature base. It's mainly just running off the fact that they're golems and that they do something for the deck and their artifacts. So they once again, work well with our mix. So personally, I had them in order to where pretty much, you know, they do different things like I said like for example ancestral statue when it enters the battlefield return target uh, non-land permanent you control to its owner's hand you know a little bounce there went for yourself uh, when meteor golem enters the battlefield destroy target non-land permanent your opponent controls you know you can just do a few different things here so I'm just gonna stack the golems right up there uh, so we'll jump into the next one like I said these are on a budget so the next thing I want to go over in this deck is well it's black and green so there's a lot of mana because the green and other are other artifacts so we got traveler's amulet here we got the skittering survey the mana lift he drunk crawler for balding statue which also <clears throat> as you can tell flips into the freaking thresher pop that back in there so all these pretty much get your mana base going. You also got <clears throat> the Signet and the Locket for Orzhov. And then where can we go wrong with some Elves? A Gift of Paradise, another Fairhaven Elf. Well, not another Fairhaven Elf, but another Elf. Uh, you got Herbalist here, uh, Neverwinter Dryad. You happen on a Glade, Karamatra's Favor, Rift Sour, Sour. <laughs> can't speak today again. Uh, and a field trip. So pretty much this is your land base. Well, not land base, but your uh, land engine. Obviously, you can upgrade that with some other things. Pretty much soul ring, etc. But we're not running soul ring and stuff in this. But that is what it is. Um, I would recommend running soul ring in it. But like I said, these are just fun little decks. I will repeat that a few times throughout this video. So what would it be without some removal... So we're cracking open, crushing veins, hunter's insight, time to feed, ram through, ambush, grasp of darkness, uh, liberation, 
Cast Down, Murder, and Feast of Succession. So pretty much, this is a lot of board control removal type things. Um, it does its thing, it does its thing. I'm pretty sure you get the gist of it if you've been playing Magic. You know what most of these cards do. Um, yeah. Alright, on to the next thing that we're going to look at here is, since we're playing black, we'll do a little return. So we got Rise Again, Victimize, Rise the Dredge, or Dredge, sorry, and Pulse of Marasa. So, you know, pretty much what they do is you return, Creature Land, Owner Hand, Six Life, same, same concept here, not just with the life, but like, just things that they do, returning from the graveyard to your hand and other stuff like that. So, your next one is going to be wings. All right, these are going to be your quips, pretty much. Your quips, your enchant creatures. Um, you're pretty much just trying to run artifacts, uh, get golems, pumped up, or yeah. So you want to pump up golems. You want to get golems out like I said with him and with your golems up here then you want your arm mix pretty much nagging things so for a few uh, equipment artifacts and enchant creatures here we got some flying ones here so we got wings uh, COVID yeah Koblod <laughs> Koblod <laughs> We have a kite sail. We also got a gold main pick here and a strider harness. There's obviously a better artifacts out there. This is pretty much just your run into the game, quick budget, super cheap deck that is actually kind of effective um, against friends. So they don't really see it coming. Twisted Embrace and Necro Synthesis. So. As you can see, we got some flying here. We got some haste. <clears throat> I mean, treasure token creation for more artifacts. Crack them for more mana, etc. And then on to the next thing we got here. Oh no. The draw power. I put it off to the side where I didn't see it. So we got sky scanner, which when it enters, you get to draw a card. And then we got Reckoner's Bargain, Village Rights, Rune Servitor. When it dies, you get a each player draws a card. And then Elvish a Visionary, so you can draw another card. So there's better draw engines as well, but like I said, this is on a budget. So we got Workshop Assistant here. So these help get your artifacts out and whatnot. Um, so this pretty much, whenever this dies, you can take an artifact from your graveyard and put it in your hand. So that is a great card to have in this deck. Foundry Inspector allows you to cast artifact spells with one less. Um, Runaway Trash Bot is another great card for this. It gets plus one for each artifact and or enchantment card in the graveyard. So it works out perfect with those enchanted creatures and everything else that are in this deck. So, pump up quick. So we got a ward two here. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, you get to put a plus one plus one on it. Another great card for the deck. And then operative, as long as you control one, it has death touch and a plus one. So it allows you to give a little early game just in case you need that death touch. So shambling suit, um, it's equal to artifacts and enchantments that you control. Another great card for this deck. And then this enchantment here, Thran Vigil. So whenever one or more artifact and or creature cards leaves the graveyard during your turn, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature control. Also another great card for this deck. <laughs> These are pretty much the best, not the best cards in this deck, but they're pretty much the support. The support that you want to use for this deck. So Skemfar Shadow Sage. Um, so when it enters the battlefield, each opponent loses X life, where X is the greatest number of creatures you control <clears throat> that have a creature type in common. So you can use golems if you really want to. Um, you gain X life, where it's the number you have. So it's pretty much 
either or. You make them lose or you gain. And you can use golems and it works out great. So Molder Beast, so whenever artifact is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, it gets plus two, plus zero until the end of turn. Another great card for this. And then this one, Defiant Salvager. <coughs> Sap yeah. Sacrifice an artifact or creature, put a plus one, plus one counter on him. And you can only activate this as you can cast sorcery. Another great card for this deck. So not only are the golems really well for this deck, but you also have these cards as support for the golems, pretty much. So the land base is pretty simple. It's really simple, honestly. 12 forest, 12 swamp. And you're not running anything hardcore. You're not running any fetches or anything like that. Dark Moss Bridge for another artifact. Foul Orchid, Jungle Hollow. Gilgory Gilgate, Gilgory Gilgate, which is Cottage, and Evolving Wilds. It's it's really nothing insane. You can throw a Commander Tower if you want to in there. there. Like I said, there's plenty of better cards in there. And the only tokens you need are Golems and Treasure Tokens. So, that's all you need for this deck. This deck's pretty simple, pretty quick, and it works out great, honestly. Has great synergy. Like I said, you can do upgrades to it. Go to EDH Rec to check that out. Um, they'll, you, it'll pretty much tell you exactly what upgrades you can use for this deck. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is just a quick commander overview. I'm thinking about doing something like this once a week. Um, I have plenty of commander decks made. Some on a budget, some are great, you know, high end competitive. So yeah, we'll just keep on rolling, see how this does and see what happens. So please follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, where I do daily pack openings on the TikTok three times a day, one for Magic, one for Yu-Gi-Oh!, one for Pokemon. And then also subscribe and turn on the notification bell on this YouTube channel, because I also do pack openings and stuff like this all the time. I hope you enjoyed the video, like I said. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.